I have a grandson who lives in London. Recently, he won a contest for short stories and is published by Daunt Books Children's Short Story Competition. The title is Pickle Puss by Thomas Palmer, age six. I will now read it to you. On a hot summer day, somewhere nearby, there was a girl called Picklepus. Well, her name wasn't Picklepus, but it's, it was what everyone called her because she was always grumpy. She was grumpy because she didn't like the kids in her neighborhood. The kids who lived near her were mean. They shouted at her, played tricks on her, and would never let her go to the playground. It was the summer holiday, and Pickle Puss was having her 10th birthday. Her mother had invited the neighbor, who was her friend. The trouble was that her mother's friend's son was the leader of the kids, the captain of the tricks, Jeff. As Pickle Puss leaned over to blow out the candles, Jeff pushed the table and said, Whoops! It was an accident. The cake fell on the ground, and Pickle Puss was even grumpier now, because when her mother called and the friend said, Oh Jeff, are you okay? Don't worry, it was an accident. On this sunny day, Pickle Puss was to go to the shops with her birthday money. She had been longing to buy a fancy frock. The shop was on the corner and Pickle Puss's mother said she was big enough to go by herself. The dress she wanted was white, like a wedding dress. And when Pickle Puss tried it on, she loved it so much that it was the first time she had smiled in a long time. Jeff walked past the shop just at the moment Pickle Puss was twirling around in her white dress. He stopped. He froze. Pickle Puss was smiling and it made her beautiful. Jeff didn't want Pickle Puss to know that he had seen her, but he decided maybe it was time to make up for being so mean to her. He went to his garden right away and gathered up some flowers. He tied them up with string and brought them over to Pickle Puss's house. When Pickle Puss answered the door, she looked like her old grumpy self. Jeff handed her the flowers and said, I'm sorry, I knocked over your cake and I wanted to give you these flowers. Pickle Puss smiled and Jeff was so surprised he smiled back. From then on, Whenever Pickle Puss was on the street, Jeff would call out, Hi Rowena, because guess what? That is Pickle Puss's real name. Soon everyone forgot that they had once called her Pickle Puss, and hearing her name called out makes her smile all the time. Pickle Puss was no more, and Rowena was happy. That is the end of the story.